Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we'd like to welcome you to this uh, Zoom call to go over the Land of Promise uh, conference and tour that will be happening in October. And we're excited to have you be part of it. And uh, if there's anyone else that you want to invite to come along, we've still got some space to, to invite more people if you can think of someone that might enjoy this trip. Uh, currently, the group is at 24 passengers, and we'll have a, a bus that will seat 56. So we'll be lots of extra legroom for people if, if that's how it goes. But uh, anyway, we're excited to have you come along. Uh, I wanted to introduce the staff here on the call. And uh, my name is Brian Mickelson. Courtney is here. She'll be kind of going over the, the booklet and the pre-trip information. Uh, Savannah is also here. She ha will be handling our customer support during the call. And so during this call, if you have questions while we're presenting, you can type a message into the chat on the Zoom and uh, we'll be responding to questions during the call on the chat. So if you have something that you need to know, uh, just put a message there and we'll get a response back to you as we go through the information. Uh, Wes is handling the logistics of the call, getting the audio and video and everything working. So also with us uh, is our host and educator, Wayne May. And Wayne is uh, back in Wisconsin, it looks like, and he's uh, getting ready to, to share a lot of good insights with you about the land of promise. Uh, of course, we know that uh, people occupied this land long before Columbus. And uh, we're going to take an exploratory trip through the heartland in Columbus area and explore a lot of the mounds that the American Indians had and how they would have related to the Book of Mormon with uh, what we have learned from the Book of Mormon and the descriptions that are in the Book of Mormon that relate to the, yeah, the sites that you're going to see. No, you listen. So as we go through this, uh, I'll just start now with... Uh, uh, going through the book, and uh, we'll go through the pre-trip information that you need to know so that you can be ready to come, come and meet us in Columbus. Go ahead, Courtney. Okay, I'm going to share my screen here. So this is the travel packet that was included in the email with the Zoom link. Um, so you can go back and reference it. It will also be attached to the recording of the Zoom email that's going to go out in a couple days. So um, you can watch for that one as well. Um, but it'll just have all of your travel information in here. So we're going to go over it. Um, Brian, feel free to jump in um, when you want to. Yeah, and for sure. I'll be happy to, to talk and bring in any more information that I can. Perfect. And like Brian said, if you have any questions as we go, just go ahead and send them in the chat and Savannah will be monitoring that. So we'll start with travel insurance. Um, we highly recommend getting travel insurance because um, in any events of lost luggage, delays, any medical issues or accidents, anything that can happen, um, it will be super, super helpful for you if you have any of those extra expenses. Um, we can still add that to your reservation if that's something that you're wanting to do. Um, you can just send a message and let Savannah know that you want a quote for that. Um, Brian, do you want to go over the two different types of insurance that they have? Yeah, there's two there's get? two types of insurance that you can purchase for travel. And one is like when you buy it for a long period of time from the time that you purchase your or decide to go on the trip and make your first deposit, and it will cover you from that time all the way to the time that you return home. Of course, you may have bought this trip six months ago, and and then that would be covering you all this time prior to travel, should you break a leg or uh, have some reason why you can't go on the trip that you could get refunded. But uh, sometimes you don't need all that, and now we're very close to the trip. So maybe you might want to consider insurance that only covers you while you're on the trip. trip coverage while you're on the trip is a lot less expensive than trying to insure you from uh, all the way from the time of deciding to go 
So it's a lot less money. So there's options and uh, it's always a good idea to consider insurance for lots of reasons. I mean, we've had everything happen to us over the years. And, uh, but if you want to have that coverage, we're happy to help you. And Savannah in our customer support will get you a quote if you'd like to get a quote from us. Um, all right, let's go ahead with with the next one. Perfect. Okay, so we'll move down to monitoring your flights. Um, we just recommend just checking your flights periodically up until the de day of departure. Um, if you have any significant flight changes or anything day of, please let us know. If you have not sent us your um, flight itineraries yet, please um, email them to customer support at goandoevents.com. Um, this is just so uh, we can plan for your arrival. We know when you're arriving and when to expect you. Um, and like I said, if you do have any day of flight changes, you can um, email us there and let us know that as well. Um, checking the weather when packing is going to be super helpful. We um, recommend weather.com and you can just enter Columbus and it will kind of give you an idea of what the weather will be like um, while we're there. And this can help um, in packing, whether you need an umbrella, a jacket, coat, whatever it may be, um, that can kind of assist you there. Um, join the group chat. So we will have a group chat on the app GroupMe. Um, it's a free app you can download onto your phone um, and you can join by clicking this link in your own travel packet and it will take you directly to the group. Um, this is where all the important information about the tour will be sent. Um, any photos we like to send here, it's kind of like a, a living memoir um, of the trip that you can go back and look at as well, which is fun. Um, but yeah, so super important that you join there. Um, like I said, you can click that in your own link or in your own travel packet and it will take you to that group. Um, currency and cash, you shouldn't have any issues using cards or cash at any of the sites or places that we're going. Um, we do just recommend letting your bank know that you will be traveling and where you'll be traveling to, just so they don't see any charges in Columbus or anything and put a hold on your account. Um, we don't want that happening. So always good to let them know ahead of time. Um, breakfast will be provided at the hotel each morning, but lunch and dinner are at your own expense and we will make stops um, every day for these meals um, and have lots of options for our stops. So um, we'll take care of you there. Tips for the bus driver are expected. Um, you should plan on $5 per person per day for this. Um, the tips for the educator and host are not required, but are greatly appreciated. Um, we'll scroll down here. Um, as far as mobility goes, um, trips can vary in walking time. We do, most places are mobility friendly. We um, just ask that if you have issues getting on and off the bus, that you have someone coming with you that can assist you um, in doing that. Um, Brian, can you add anything there? I know you've done this tour before. Um, do Is there any places that we should... Um, mobility wise be concerned about um well uh if you have i i guess i don't know if somebody has a mobility issue if, if someone is in the chat that has that let us know but um as far as the buses go you should need to be able to get on and off a bus um if you are bringing a walker or something like that that's uh you know, you need somebody there to help you with it. There is no staff here to help anyone on a mobility issue. Um, the buses may or may not have some type of a lift or not. It's it's never it's never really known. Um, but um, as far as that, there is quite a bit of uh, getting off the bus, going a couple hundred yards, sometimes. Uh, maybe 500 yards. And so there is that. It's not always an even path. And so you want good walking shoes and things like that. Um, 
So I'll just give that to you as a heads up. This is when we're visiting the mound sites. Um, we're not going to <clears throat> take you off on a large hike or anything like that, like uh, uh, sometimes we've done in the past, but we'll, we'll stick to closer mounds that people can get to. Perfect. Okay. And we'll move on to packing. Um, like Brian said, our bus right now is about halfway full, so it shouldn't be an issue on this tour. Um, but we do just recommend one hard case or, you know, one set of luggage per person to go underneath um, in the, under well, the coach. Well, in this particular bus. case, though, you'll just be leaving your luggage in the hotel. Okay. okay so... so we won't be loading luggage on and off the bus. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So we'll just ignore that part. Okay. So travel checklist. Um, this is going to be your day of travel um, kind of guide. So before you leave, again, check your flights. Um, let us know if you have any itinerary changes. Brian will be at the hotel um, waiting for everyone. Um, so just so he knows when to expect you, just let us know if anything changes. You can send an email or you can just let him know on GroupMe um, in the chat there. When you also, arrive... my, my phone number is there and you can text me if you need to also. Um, once you arrive in Columbus, um, you will make your way to the luggage pickup area if you need to grab any checked luggage. And then you'll go towards the exit of the airport. Um, once you get outside, you'll call the hotel directly at the phone number listed here, and they will and request their shuttle to come pick you up. Um, the hotel is right near the airport, so it won't take very long. It's called the Embassy Suites by Hilton, um, Columbus Airport, and it's right there below. Um, once you arrive at the hotel, Brian will be meeting you in the lobby. Um, so just find him, let him know you've arrived. Um, if you do get lost, his number is listed here and he can direct you or um, kind of guide you if you have any questions. Okay, so we're gonna start walking through our tour to itinerary. Um, so the 21st is just gonna be our arrival day. So flights in. Um, you can grab dinner on your own if you arrive um, in time to do that. We are staying at the embassy the whole time, so um, that'll be really nice. We can leave our luggage there, not have to worry about it. Now, I'll tell you a little bit about the embassy is that they usually have some type of a manager's reception in the evening during the week. And so there's some snacks and things like that out in the, the lobby in the evening. It's not like a full-blown meal or, or th anything like that, but it has a few snacks and things that are convenient. There's also a restaurant in the hotel. If you want to order a meal at the restaurant, that is available to you. There's restaurants nearby, some fast food that is outside of the, in the same area, like uh, walkable for fast food. And so you have some, some food options there. Um, also, there is a free shuttle at the hotel that can take you to a shopping mall area if you want to go out somewhere more full-blown restaurant style. Uh, you can take a shuttle in and out, and they will gladly take you and pick you up uh, with the airport shuttle. So there's some fast food nearby. There's the reception at the hotel. There's a restaurant in the hotel, and also the shuttle that can take you to the shopping area where you can get a full-blown restaurant experience if you'd like. And that's all in the evening hours. The breakfast is a fully cooked breakfast buffet style. It's got everything on it. It's a wonderful place to get your morning meal. And uh, when we get in on the 21st, uh, Courtney, I would, I would like to see if the hotel could get us a room that night just to have a little, um, uh, meet and greet there and maybe a little hello get to know each other if the if there's a possibility for that maybe around we 7 p.m reserved for 8 to 10 p.m that night um, 8 to 10 okay yeah. yep so which whatever time you want to use it you can so if you come in and you've got your dinner and you want to come to the the room we'll have a room there at 8 p.m 
to come in and meet everybody in the group. And then we'll start with our conference the next morning where we'll have a conference in the morning where we learn a lot of things uh, with Wayne presenting. And then in the afternoon, we'll, we'll go out to a site. Okay. Okay, perfect. Let me zoom in here. Okay, so like Brian said, each day we're going to start with um, a morning conference with Wayne um, at the hotel. So we have that in the conference room every morning after breakfast. Um, so what time does the room start there for bre um, after 9 breakfast? 9 a.m. Okay. Um, and so on the 22nd, after our morning education, we're going to head to Mound City and visit the Hopewell Cultural National Historic Park. Um, and we'll get to see the Hopewell Mound group, as well as the Seep Mound and Fort Hill. Um, Brian, do you, Wayne, do you guys want to add anything about on um, these sites? Yeah, so know. go ahead, Wayne. Uh, well, I was just going to say, make sure that you... Uh... Pay attention to your shoes. Uh, when we get to, uh, uh, for example, uh, Fort Hill, is, it's a pretty good climb. Um, hopefully, we won't have any uh, moisture fall upon us. Uh, if it is, it, it can be extremely slippery. But uh, we'll go slow. And it's uh, we got a long way up and we got a short way up. And uh, depending on the weather, I'll take you one or the other. It, it's all right. But it's worth the climb. It's a long climb. It will take a lot of time to go up and back, but it's worth it. Because uh, you'll see the, uh, the, the embankments and the walls uh, all the way around. It's uh, it's almost, uh, it's practically about three miles all the way around. So now, we won't walk the entire thing, but uh, you'll see plenty that day. So make sure you're comfortable with your feet. That's the main thing. Yes, and if it's really wet or slippery, we might have to, to do something different there. Okay, go ahead. Okay, perfect. So the 23rd. Um, we will have our morning education once again after breakfast, 9 a.m. again, um, and then we'll head over to the Serpent Mount, um, and that's a good drive, so we'll have some good time in the bus as well for some um, onboard education, and then we'll get to see the Miamisburg Adena Mound as well. Oh, and Fort Ancient, yeah. Okay, the 24th, again, morning education, um, and then afterwards, we'll get to see the Great Circle, um, the Johnson Humor House Museum, and the Great Octagon, um, kind of everything over in that area this day. Um, the 25th, um, we'll move on to the... So hold on just a second there. The Heimrich Johnson Museum is something that you're going to be really excited about seeing. And uh, there's the Holy Stones there that uh, many of you may have already heard about. But that's an opportunity to get to see those. Of course, the embankments at the, the uh, Great Octagon and the Great Circle uh, and all of the layout in the the lunar pattern so that would be great to enjoy that that's a great day okay the next day again the education and uh wayne do you want to talk a little bit about maybe miamisburg and what the enon mounds are well uh <clears throat> miamisburg and enon these are uh, mounds built by the adena culture and of course that falls into the timeline of the jaredites and uh very interesting. When we get to the Enon Mount in particular, uh, I've got some uh, direct information from Joseph. Joseph actually walked right through this Enon area, and they visited this mound. And it's recorded in his journal. I will share that with you when we get there. It's extremely interesting. And uh, what, what, what also is good that this Enon Mound is really the second largest mound that exists today from the Adena culture. There were other ones that were bigger closer to the Miamisburg size, but they've all been leveled, unfortunately. So uh, these mounds, uh, luckily for us today, they have been protected, and uh, they're there for us to enjoy and to see uh, just a little glimpse into uh, the past, what was once here. Yeah, for sure. Okay, well, that kind of ends the, the description of the tour and our daily events. So kind of the rhythm of the whole thing is that every morning we get education, we have slide presentations uh, and uh, 
and Wayne will be teaching us. Uh, and then in the afternoon, we get to go explore and do field trips and see these things and, and get hands on. So that's kind of the, the plan every day. In the evening, of course, you come back to the hotel. You can choose your place where you want to have dinner or you can just snack at the hotel with the reception. Uh, your choice. And of course, the wonderful breakfast every morning that's got everything on it. So um, as far as uh, how we planned this, Wayne, what do you, how's your feeling about the the idea of this format for touring? Well, I'm I'm kind of really looking forward to it. I, I this is the first time we're going to be doing this, of course, but I, I figure probably about a uh, hour and a half to two hour in the morning, and then uh, we should uh, we really should probably have some snacks so we don't have to worry about stopping at a restaurant once we leave the hotel. I don't know yeah. how to arrange that, but if if we don't have to stop and eat, it'd be much better to uh, be able to cover what we want to see uh, from like noonish till uh, you know four or five o'clock in the evening. So, yeah, it might be a good idea to to bring some snacks with you along uh, to have on the bus and stuff like that. Um, yeah, you'll I'd have enough, it. and and you can take something from breakfast too as a snack for later, uh, if you'd like to do that, and have that on the bus. Um, and there is a little snack shop at the hotel that you could buy some snacks from the hotel if you want to do that. Um, but I think it'd be a great idea to spend more of our time exploring and, and then coming back and getting a bigger dinner rather than spending time uh, yeah. stopping for food. I would say plan plan to not stop and eat, if at all possible. Uh, of course, we'll do a potty break. <laughs> That's necessary. But uh, yeah, it'll be good. Now, we we have this itinerary, and I just want to let you know that if for some reason that we want to switch it up where we do one one day and then we do a different one another day, it could be an exchange inter exchanged and we're not going to miss anything, but uh, where we can adjust things as Wayne has it and as he needs it. So if there's a change in some museum or something like that, that needs us to come at a different time, he'll, he'll arrange it so that we can flip flop things around. Okay, any other questions that need to come up before the group? Uh, feel free to put them in the chat. We're really is, looking. Um, sorry, Brian, there is one question from Tom that's for Wayne. Um, he wants to know any suggestions on books to read, as well as any suggestions on museums in Columbus, as they will be coming in a few days early. A day early? Um... I think we're slated to try to go to the Columbus Museum. I don't know if we'll make it. Um, that would probably be the best one for you to go see. It's right in Columbus. Um, there's plenty of signs to get there, and anybody will tell you, give you directions how to get there. It's on the Beltline. It makes a circle around the city. Um, Book-wise, I mean, my golly, there's 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 hundreds of books on, on the Hopewell. Um, if you can get your hands on the Mississippi Mound Builders, uh, that would be a good one, or the Aboriginal Monuments of Western New York. Uh, those two would be absolutely the very best uh, to begin, because they are the, uh, what I call them, they're the Bible of the Hopewell, because uh, one covers the primarily the heartland of the Book of Mormon culture time period, and then, of course, the Aboriginal Monuments is very focused from 200 to 400 A.D. in Western uh, New York, and with over 200 forts that exist there to this day. And uh, th those two books really... A really Book of Mormon, period, once you understand what you're looking for in reading it. And I, that'd be my suggestion. Uh, I, I do sell both those books to my bookstore. But again, you can pick them up online, or maybe you can find one there at, at the Columbus Museum and pick a book up there to read uh, in the evening for yourself. Yeah, but Wayne does have... Uh, uh, Savannah, why don't you... If, if you want to order a book, you can go to Wayne's website and it's is it the land of promise no it's a it's just it's lds archaeology.com okay it's, yeah lds archaeology.com so you can go to lds archaeology.com and you can see wayne's list of books and he can get you one in the mail right away yeah there's plenty of time plenty of time yeah for sure Okay, well, we're excited to have everybody come along. Um, by the way, 
this is being recorded and will be mailed to you in an email so that you can rewatch this video should you have any questions. It'll be up on our uh, YouTube channel for Go and Do Travel on YouTube. And you can go there and watch this video again if you want to refresh your mind about this at any time or share it with a friend that missed the call. Um, and we'll also send you that link in an email along with, again, the travel packet that we just went through. So you should have that travel packet in two or three different emails by the time you go on your trip. But if you need to contact us, Savannah is standing by all day long to answer your questions. And she has an email that's called customer support at go and do events dot com now it's go and do events.com customer support at go and do events.com and she answers those emails and cleans it up every day so there never goes a, a, a business day without her answering every email and of course you can call in if you need to if you can't reach her because she's on the phone or something with somebody else then just drop an email and she'll get back to you well, we're excited to have you come along. I'm excited to go along with Wayne on this trip. This will be uh, probably three or four different trips that I've been with you, Wayne, and every one is exciting. And and it's always exciting to, to have the Book of Mormon come to life when you can picture Captain Moroni and, and his, uh, his mounds being built up in the securing the people. So Very good. we're going to say goodbye. Wayne, you want to say goodbye? Yes. See you in a week or so, a couple of weeks. <laughs> Back in uh, the middle of October. It's going to be a few weeks, but we'll see you then. Okay. Thanks a lot. See you, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.